What's going on everybody? It's your boy the Long Island Fish Guy here. Today's video, we're going to be talking about something kind of odd. Also, we don't really typically look at this tank, but today we're going to take a look at it. Um, so, just to catch you up for a moment, this is my quarantine tank. This is a 10 gallon tank. I keep a bare bottom in it so it's easy to clean. Just cleaned this a few days ago, but already has a lot of poop and some, just some, uh, you know, some old food on the ground, but that's fine. I typically scoop it out maybe twice a week. It's uh, kind of hard to, you know, do water changes on this in regards to siphoning because it's so low to the ground. Anyway, so this is my, like I said before, my 10 gallon quarantine tank. I'm trying to get a good side view here. This is a Senegalis Abysher. Uh, Bashir, Biker, whatever you like to call it, Polypterus. Now, I first added him to the tank with a, um, a Parachromis species. It's either a Freddy or Frederick Stolly, whatever kind of call it, you know, a yellow jacket cichlid, or it could be a Loazelli. It's semi-125. If you watch my last Around the World update, I'll put a link uh, on the top. Check it out. Um, it's a new fish. But here is this fish now. This is the Bicher. When I added him to the tank, he was gorgeous. He was so nice. He had this really nice, bright, uh, pinkish, red pectoral fins. And it looked really nice. That's actually the reason why I picked him out in the store. Um, was because of his pectoral fins. It looked so odd and different. It was really unique for this fish. Within two days, this fish had both of its pectoral fins bitten off by that parachromis, and they were gone. I felt terrible. He looked really bad, like really bad. I'm actually kind of surprised. This fish moves around a lot. I'm kind of surprised he's sitting still right now. He might be freaked out from the camera. Who knows? But um, he got both of them ripped off and looked pretty bad, to be honest with you. He, um, he was still swimming around fine uh he didn't eat for about a day or two i actually thought he was gonna die so what i did was i actually went back to the store i really probably shouldn't have done it so quick but i actually went back to the store and i got that guy he is the same exact fish pretty similar actually um in regards to coloration i wanted to get one with like that pinkish color to him you can see it kind of underneath um, but he's got good personality too. Honestly, both of them have incredible personalities. Now, what I really wanted to speak about was the pectoral fins are growing back. Look at that. This guy looked like a, literally like a rope fish without any, um, without any fins. Like it, it looked just, ugh. And I felt really bad for him because I wasn't sure if they were going to grow back. Because the fins were really bitten off at the root. Uh, now, what I want to show you is where it is. Oh, there it is. Who did? What is this? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, what I wanted to show you was this. So I went from feeding them this food. This is the Aquion shrimp pellets, and to be honest with you. It's not a bad food. This container is pretty cheap, um, and there's a lot in here. Um, I've had this. It came, I think, with one of my tanks as like a startup sit, uh, setup thing, and I think it was like I looked in the store, it was like three or four dollars maybe. I fed this for a really long time for, to this fish, and uh, maybe for about two weeks, three weeks, and I saw like no growth of the pectoral fins. And I said to myself, maybe I have to change up the food. I feed my cichlids this, and specifically my belly crawler pike, my shovel nose lima. And it's protein rich pellets. They're sinking pellets, they're carnivore pellets. They're really high in meat content. Um, you know, some of the ingredients there. You always kind of want to see. Fish meal is not really something you want to see, you know, in your ingredients. This is your first byproduct. Um, let's see what they have here. This looks like it is, yeah, again, shrimp meal. Um, but this food literally is the reason why he started growing his pectoral fins back. Um, 
so I, I just wanted, you know, I wanted to make a quick video basically on that update saying it's possible. I know that sometimes, you know, with aggressive fish, you can have certain fish, you know, lose their pectoral fins or even parts of their tail. I've seen fish in the, in the pet store literally, they really should not have been together, you know, get their, uh, you know, certain parts of their bodies just ripped off and they kind of don't grow back. Um, it could be because of the quality of the food that the pet store is feeding them, but um, just wanted to shoot a quick video on that and, you know, just not necessarily, you know, plug Hikari pellets here, but it's a gold nugget pleco. But, uh, you know, just say, you know, it's sometimes the quality of your food that you give your fish is really important. And, um, yeah, that is that. Uh, I'm looking to put these guys into the 29 gallon soon. Um, I'm really not ready to put that gold nugget pleco into the 125. Uh, that tank's about to like, like explode with aggressiveness, so I'm kind of monitoring it, not really adding any fish to that tank. But that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you like fish tank videos, or if you're from Long Island and you're into this type of stuff, or even if you're not into aquariums and you know you still like to listen to my voice, even whatever, <laughs> or look, just look at some fish tanks, you know, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you have an Instagram account, check out my Instagram. It's Long Island Fish Guy. Same name as, uh, as this YouTube channel, but that's going to be it. Like I said, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you feed your fish any of these foods. Um, this is just a little bit. I have a humidor right over here. Of food so I mean it's crazy <laughs> how many how much you know variety and stuff I have but I love it so it's okay also a quick update I bought another quarantine tank because this one's all messed up <laughs> look at my seals on this tank it's just terrible it's an old old tank but like I said be sure to like subscribe comment follow me on Instagram do the whole thing you know what's good peace